my day family how are you doing today for those of you that are new to my channel my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well so let's go ahead and get started hi Mayday family how are you guys doing today so it's been a while but I have it's so funny because honestly although my Instagram usage has slowed down my YouTube usage has not slowed down. So even, even when I'm not posting, I spend a good chunk of time, more than I, I'd like to admit, watching YouTube videos. So I'm excited to be back. I've been watching some really interesting content that I can't wait to talk a little bit more about and watch together with you and kind of get your your feedback, your thoughts. What's your perspective? What are you thinking? So this particular video... Um, is it's it's funny to me because I've been watching a lot more. I've been watching Abba and Preach a lot more. I find them very very funny. I agree with a lot of the things that they say. There are things that I don't so much agree with, right? But I tend to watch a lot of those types of content where I might agree with some things and not agree with others. So that's okay. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into this uh, and see what Preach is so mad about. I've seen him mad in other videos, so I kind of am like, <laughs> he gets really upset. So let's kind of see what this is about. I'm, I'm excited to see. Let's watch. Oh, my God. Oh. I got to put that shit back. Hold on, hold on. We got we to gotta bring it back. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got to bring it Listen. Somebody sent me this, and I knew. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I gotta play that. I gotta play that. Let's play that. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Try to play that. Oh, oh my right. god! Right? Yeah. Do you identify as black? <laughs> <laughs> Why, so today's generation, I, I heard asking that question, that very short clip. I think if you were to ask me the question, what is what are some of the things that are wrong with today's generation, today's society? I would play that clip for you because I'm, I just, um, <laughs> let's keep watching. <laughs> Jesus, Jesu, listen. Jesu, you're, talking, you're, talking, you're talking to them. No matter how whitewashed you think this man is, no matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it was. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? Classic. Yes, but, but even in Africa, yeah, you quite enjoyed this one. <laughs> this one is yeah, because you more the book. Oh, I like the African accent. I'm African, so let me see if I can do my African accent. So, what what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say today? <laughs> Let's keep going. In Africa, it's only it's black. Only, it's, it's, black. Like, it's, it's, black. Black. it's like this young bride's gonna come up to me with, yeah, with your privilege that you have, with your lighter skin tone that you have. There's a lot, there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of layers, right? But whatever. I under, that's why I understood the laugh where the laugh is from. I don't know what the situation is, but that's what I can be. All right, I'm done. You can proceed. That laugh was interesting. I think. From from what it looked like, I, it looked like he he was caught off guard by the question, and I think I would be caught off guard by that question too. I think I don't know. I think that today one of the biggest problems with the younger generation and young people is they might have a thought in their head, and what they're meaning to ask is not what ends up coming out of their mouth, right? So I think that there's a huge gap when it comes to our younger people just knowing how to effectively communicate and how to communicate what it is that they're actually thinking. Now, I will say that this isn't just for younger people. There's a, just a, a lot of adults out there that also don't know how to communicate. But with this with this uh, girl that's asking this, this older guy, 
do you identify as black? That whole question doesn't make sense. You, being black is not something that you identify as. It's that you're black or you're not. <laughs> so even if you want to say, oh, I don't identify as black, it, it, um, it almost doesn't make sense by its bare definition because being black isn't something that you have a choice on, right? Um, just like uh, uh, we have your set, your gender ident identification, but your biological gender, it's not something that you have a choice on. You're, you're born as what you are, right? So when we say identification, those are things that people maybe would much rather be or feel more comfortable uh, describing themselves as. Uh, but when we're talking about things where people aren't the ones that decide those things for themselves, it doesn't make sense to uh, start getting those things confused. And then I also think it also highlights just how confused our younger people are. And it just seems like they're getting more and more confused but then we can't really blame them because it's, you know, where are they learning these things from? Obviously, we somewhere went wrong when it comes to parenting, teaching, things like that. But there, there has to be, at the very least, it has to make sense. And I think it just, he, this is a perfect example of just the lack of communication skills, I would say giving people what they need. Bro, I wouldn't even expect a schizophrenic homeless person to ask me this question. Do you know how fucking unhinged you have to sound to shock even Clayton Bigsby? <laughs> <laughs> it is his sickness and it is his Do you identify as black? No, it's a serious question because you might not identify. Can you please put the mic? Thank you. That's not a serious question because the question that 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 is stupidity. <laughs> that makes no sense. You can't, being black isn't something that you, it's like, it's like the argument people try to say, or some people try to say it's, you know, if, if you have a, a homosexual person or a gay person, oh, it's just like being black. Well, it's not because, you know, when you're black, that, that's something that we don't, we don't have to go too far to prove. You're, you can see that you're either black or you're not. So it, this is not an identification issue. To her defense, again, I think it's a lack of communication skills. I think what she's trying to communicate in her mind, she's not able to properly organize. And Alexa, okay. Alexa, you're throwing, I'm trying to film a video. Pause. <laughs> I set her up. Anyways, I think when it comes to the younger people, they might have some thought in their head, but it they lack the proper skills to clarify their thoughts and put together the appropriate words so that the question that's coming out matches the thought that the thought process that they initially had. And I think that's what's going on here. They're so confused. <laughs> They, they're they just so confused and ultimately I think it's a recipe for disaster there are strengths that I see in the younger generation there are not that I'm that much older but I hope you know I'm not even going to go into that but um there are also very very big challenges and, and and I think this is a perfect example of one of those very very big challenges I am not done with my question. Oh, but you have to. That is so rude. There is nothing. There is nothing that annoys me more than someone now. That that is ridiculous. You asked him a question. He hasn't had a chance to answer. He's trying to answer your question, and now you're getting. I think what's probably going on there for her. What it looks like is. She realized, because after asking a question that's stupid, <laughs> it, it doesn't, a lot of times it doesn't take too long for you to realize that question didn't exactly come out the way that you might have intended for it to come out. And I think she got triggered by him laughing. 
and probably realize, oh, okay, that that question doesn't doesn't really make sense. It's not exactly what I was trying to communicate. And so I think this is also a perfect example of our younger generation having such a hard time regulating their emotions and their behavioral responses when they get upset. And it, it it's really it's really sad to see. I mean, it's like it's like you, I, first of all, if you're gonna go to this type of an event, like you would think that you might want to have some questions prepared that make more sense. But at the same time, like she got so mad, he hadn't even gotten a word in. Like she had asked the question, he hadn't answered, and she that she got really, really, really pissed and. That tells me there's more. There's a lot more going on there that has more to do with her personal insecurities than anyone else. That, that much is clear. Right. Hey. Oh. oh my God. That is what you call chicken. Oh my God. Okay. 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 That's what it's gonna be. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Preach is clearly triggered. I'm assuming from what it looks like, he must have gotten interrupted a lot in his childhood, maybe felt unheard. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. But he's very triggered right now. And it's it's funny. It's very funny. <laughs> That's what we choose to do today. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> you good? I'm not done. Is you, is you, is you mad? Or is you crazy? I think it's both of them. B-O-F-F-U-M? B-O-F-F-U-M, both of them. <laughs> Talk that shit. What happened? <laughs> Whew, I gotta speak to my ancestors and call my spirits. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this gonna be a tough one. This be ah. I think this is gonna be a tough one. Oh, oh, this gonna be a tough one. No, c'est le but the dream on top of right. I, you know, woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I really suspect <laughs> that I deserve a raise for triggering proofs. Okay, Abba, you didn't, you're not the one that triggered Preach. Preach is triggered because of the video. I don't. I don't, what? <laughs> a lot of times when the, from the videos I've watched, when ABBA talks, I'm like, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> okay. Have okay. you guys enjoyed these triggering lines? <sighs> Let me know how to do it. You, you, you should shut the fuck up and play the video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You proud of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this place. Asking him, do you identify as black? That's crazy. This is it's so absurd. But, you know, from her perspective, she probably thinks she's being compassionate. Because she's been taught and indoctrinated this whole idea that she's supposed to ask everyone, what do you identify as? But for people who've had to live with the reality, that was another point. I agree. I think. Again, she's she's just a very she's just very confused, and it's tough. It sucks because these kids are going to continue to seek maybe happiness or understanding, and they're going to miss the mark. <clears throat> Excuse me, they're going to miss the mark more and more, more and more each time, and it's hard to explicitly be irritated and upset with her directly because it is a product of um the previous generations so this is the product what we're seeing is the result of that and you know in in that sense it just becomes scary in my opinion
What do you mean? I thought it was not a point of the question. She was not asking to ask. She was asking to prove a point that what you're saying, you're not even black. Because if if, she, if it was if it was compassion, if it was compassion, when it's compassionate, I'm supposed to listen to you. Yes, sir. Okay, that was not a compassionate thing where she was like, "What? Well, so what do you think? Okay, cool. Just want to make sure that was not that. Mm -hmm. Are you even black? Is the undertone of a Shemineshaya, a Shemineshanda? What the fuck she was saying? That's what it was. Okay. That was not. That was a jab. That was. A, that was a. That was trying to muck a hurt a person. Okay. That was trying to take away the blackness of a person. I was trying to weaponize, weaponize the fact that you're doing your policies, and if you're doing those policies, you must not be black. That was there was zero compassion to what it was and what it is. None. And stop. And I didn't even see it from that perspective. I'm gonna tell you like that. It, I ain't mad at you now that you say it like that. It does sound more fun. Cause it's not gonna lie. Once you laid it out like that, I was like, this is true. Abba is always so like. When I watch the Abba and Preach videos, like, I feel like he, is easily swayed a lot of times, not all the time, but he's just always so like, what is it, what is nowadays, what is it like a kiss ass? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. He just. Sometimes in a lot of these videos, a lot of his videos, it's like he just, he's just there. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like him. I think he's funny. But sometimes it's just like, you know, like he has this, he tries to play this. Maybe it's because he tries to play this mediator role most of the time. And that's, maybe that's where that perspective is coming from for me, just based off his videos. Of course, I don't know the guy, but I don't know. Interesting. Anyways. But he right. No. Just because he's pretty, don't mean he can't be right. That is that. There was zero compassion and shit. That was not the point of that. Are you black? Because if you were really black, you would understand me right here. That's what it was. That's a crazy question. It's funny how motherfuckers always, it's funny. How the most S the SJW motherfuckers, especially from the black community, talking about a new community. Oh, we have to be you out there now. We have to now. They're the first ones that separates you. Oh, you're not black. They're gonna dictate how you should act as a black person. What music you should listen to as a black person. Who the you should date as a black. I do agree with preach on this. Like even for myself, here's a, another perspective to add on to what Preach is saying here, even for myself as a business owner, you won't believe how many calls I get. Most of the calls that I get from people that aren't even my clients, right? People that are just maybe calling to ask questions or inquire about something. Most 95% of people are calm, they're nice, they ask, they move on with their lives. Most of the more challenging clients that I get, the ones that curse are easily triggered, are rude, the ones that I would never work with, um, the ones that give me the most difficult time, unfortunately, from my experience, have been Black. So that's not to say I've had a mixture. I have had a mixture, uh, but a lot of them have been within my own a group of people so I think I think the division is real I mean I think I think it's a fundamental human problem but I'm not going to go to I'm not going to dive too too far into that but I mean ultimately there's division even within the same groups there's division outside of those groups there's just division everywhere but I think for the purposes of this topic and video it's definitely rampant within the black community as well, which is pretty sad. Or else you're not black. We're a unity, but you're out of there because you're not thinking like me. It's funny how it's always those fake motherfuckers. When you call them out, you're like, ah, how dare you? How dare you talk? Say the most outlandish and stupid shit. They, they go out and say the most outlandish shit. They call you all type of name. Traitor. The minute you call them out, oh my God. Shut the 
fuck up. Shut up. It's always you motherfuckers that do that. Always the most broke in black, but you're the one that shit on us. The first one. The minute we don't agree with you, you're like, oh my God. You must not be the shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, that's a good note to end this. He's super triggered. He's super angry. I'm guessing he's probably had quite a few females. Not be so nice. <laughs> Um, it's clear he's had a lot of experiences there, potential traumas there. So that's, that's fine. I, but for the most part, I agree with what he's trying to explain and communicate, which is there is a lot of division, even within the black community itself. And it makes it really hard sometimes because it just makes it really hard sometimes. I mean, but I think one of the most important things to remember and keep in mind is that division in, in, an, in and of itself is a fundamental human problem. And it goes in a lot deeper and it involves a lot more when we're talking about the reasons why and why that comes up. But nonetheless, the experience is still the same, for example, Preach's experiences are still the same as far as clearly not being that positive and being something that really does kind of get under his skin and trigger him. And it triggers me too. It just depends um, on what it is. Then I might get upset, maybe not that upset, but irritated, I think is more of what I get. But yeah, so this was a super informative video. I super, I really enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts, what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.